Hello, my name is John Kahn. I'm president of Hydrotech Systems. Today we wanted to show you our no water wasted package that's going on national special right now and it's available from over a hundred different distributors throughout the country. This product will wash, recover, filter, and also allow you to reuse your water. It's effective in complying with the storm drain regulations and keeping your wash water out of that storm drain and also for conserving water when you have a limited fresh water supply. The no water wasted package includes everything you need to get going. It includes three berms, the vacuum hose, and the vacuum scupper. Our flexible manufacturing will allow you to customize this product so you can add up to 25 different mobile wash skids, whichever one you prefer. You can upgrade the trailer from 200 gallons to 400 gallons, and then there's many other op options available from uh, inlet hose reels to vacuum uh, accessories, vacuum arches, and also you can add a vacuum twister that allows you to wash and vacuum up the water at the same time so you don't have to go back and rinse. In a couple minutes, Casey Milker, our director of marketing, will give you a complete walk around on the whole no water wasted package. But first I wanted to tell you a quick story about how we developed this product. In 2003, a customer came to us from California that had been shut down by the local city that was enforcing the Clean Water Act. And he asked me, how can you help me stay in business? And I committed to him that we'd come up with a product that would help him stay in business, and we assumed that others like him across the country would also have that same need. We developed the AZF filter system shortly thereafter, put a lot of money into it and a lot of thought into it to get it right, and it worked very well, but it used a sump pump for picking up the water. And in 2007, we decided we could do better with the vacuum because the regulations basically required that not a drop of water would be uh, left to go down into the storm drain. So we improved that product in 2007 and added a vacuum to it. And then in 2010, we also improved the product even more based on our philosophy of continuous improvement and made it even more powerful and this is what you're going to see today. In 2010, we started making improvements based on customer feedback on our HydroLoop system. We also have additional models that uh, do up to 12 gallons a minute and run longer hoses. And uh, Casey Milker, our director of marketing, is going to introduce some of those features to you and give you a walk around in the trailer so you can see why this is absolutely the best solution for wash, recover, filter, and reuse of your water. Thank you. Hi, I'm Casey Milker in the marketing department here at Hydrotech, and I'd like to show you some of the features of our no water wasted package that we have. Over the past few years, environmental restrictions have become more and more strict, limiting the use of your water. So what we've done here is done a complete package that we call the no water wasted. It's a fully self-contained package that will work to recycle your water back into your tank for reuse. What we have here is an SC series mobile wash kit mounted on a proto wash trailer and this version of it is a single axle trailer but there's a few key features I'd, li I'd like to point out on this SC unit. The first is the rugged stainless the powder coated frame. One thing that you'll notice right away that sets us apart is the use of stainless steel. We have stainless steel panels and stainless steel coil wrap. Now the stainless steel coil wrap isn't just on the top. It'll go all the way underneath, completely enclosing it, and on both end caps are double-layered stainless steel. What this works for is really good insulator for a highly efficient burner, saving you fuel, but also protecting it from the elements and protecting it from rust and corrosion. The second thing that comes standard on all SC units is lighted burner controls, so you can tell when it's off and on, and also precise uh, temperature limit on some models all the way up to 250 degrees so you can set the burner temperature at the precise temperature needed. The other thing new for 2011 is a little black canister that you'll see on all gasoline engine machines with a remote fuel tank. 
Now what this canister does is it filters the evaporation emissions out of the gasoline, which is necessary to be sold anywhere in the United States due to EPA and also carbon compliance measures. You're going to see industrial engines on all the machines. They're going to have electric start. They also have oil filters, and they're all going to be belt drive machines on the SC series. The Hydrotech trailer is built and designed specifically for a pressure washer trailer. The tank is sitting directly over the axle. The pressure washer sits up front for tongue weight, and there's room for accessories on the back. The heavy duty sink, the heavy duty steel fenders are meant to be a step in order to get up on them and maintenance the tank, but also durable enough to hold up over time. The drain valve system is inch and a half heavy duty. The dump valve, when you open it up, it'll quickly drain your tank. You can close it. There's also a water filter that will protect your pump from gravel and other debris that might get into your water that can easily be accessed by unscrewing it from the bottom. Another feature that you'll see is recessed tail lights. This protects the lights from damage, getting knocked off and cracked. Um, on this version, you have a 200 gallon tank with a single axle. Now you always have the option of upgrading to dual axle with either surge or electric brakes with a 270 gallon tank option, 400 gallons, or 540 gallon tank. On the back, we have room for accessories here. All our reels are stainless steel to hold up over time. They also pivot to the position that you need them to. If you're pulling the hose off the front, you don't want to pull the hose backwards and then walk forward. You want to put it in the forward position and then walk this way with it. Now, this one's an inlet hose. This hose reel will fit 100 feet of inlet hose. On the other side, we have an identical hose reel, but for high pressure. That'll hold up to 200 feet of high pressure hose. This hose is flung to the water tank, so when I connect this to a hose spigot, it'll automatically fill the water tank. And you can go up to 100 feet away so you're not hunting around looking for a garden. When we pivot the reels out of the way, we have access to the integrated storage tray. This makes room for accessories, vacuum hose, wands, or anything you can imagine that you would need to store in. The way that this is set up is with an 8 gallon capacity fuel tank and 18 gallon diesel tank. The reason for this configuration is for all day use. You'll also see over here the 2900 watt generator. This will power both the burner and the recovery system as well as being able to run lights for nighttime work. As John mentioned before, this is the third generation of our water recycle system. We have eight years of real world experience designing and implementing this and success stories. There are seven stages of filtration. The first over here is at the pickup point. We have an oil absorbent spot. That will pick up the oil before it even enters the system, right behind the, the berms. The second that we have is going to be inside the system. If we unhook the vacuum hose, the water is going to go in here through the vacuum. and enter into the filters here. The new design of the dual pre-filtration makes this run much longer, but also makes it easier to use and to maintenance. We can bring this whole system down, set it on the ground, and then what we can do is loosen the wing nuts that we have, and it comes right off and you have a bag inside of a bag for dual pre-filtration. That's the second and third stage of filtration. Fourth stage is the cone-shaped bottom of the tank itself. All the sediment that gets through the filters is going to settle to the bottom and it can be easily drained off into a five gallon bucket by pulling the inch and a half dump valve. That will drain into the bucket to be disposed of in the evaporator. This stage is going to be in the pleated filter, which the pump pumps up into. Sixth stage is a carbon filter, and stage seven is a five micron bag filter that goes in before it goes into the tank. The pleated filter is going to filter down to 20 microns, 
and the carbon is going to remove all the extra oils out of it down to 10 microns. The final filtration of 5 microns is more than enough to be used for recycled water. The six new improvements for 2011 include the sweet new low profile design which gets it down to the height of all the other equipment on the trailer. The top comes completely off in order to change the two new bag filters which are a big improvement over the one filter design. The switches are much easier to get to. They're lower to turn off and on. The pressure gauge that tells you when to maintenance the filters is now enclosed in the housing. The whole vacuum is in this housing, better protected against damage going down the road. If you're driving down the road and it's raining, it's completely protected. The next one that we have is the pump out feature. It's moved over to the side so you can filter the water before pumping it out. Probably the most important feature is the open airflow design. This improves vacuum performance up to 50%. This allows you to use a vacuum surface cleaner, the ANPV3, with up to 100 feet of 2-inch vacuum hose, and it almost doubles the performance of the vacuum pickup scuffle. Let's get this thing fired up and see how it works. This has been the No Water Wasted Trailer Package. Remember, you can always order it with any combination of SC, all the way from 3,000 to 5,100 PSI. It'll also work with the SCU series, and you can order two versions of the water recycle system, all the way up to eight gallons a minute.